morning and welcome to another vlog. It's just a short vlog today. Um, I'm going to walk on a path a bit later, uh, which I was thinking of including into the walk from Molly to Batley, but uh, we didn't do it in the end because uh, uh, I wanted to try to walk as near to the line of the railway as I could. So we're walking over to the White Rose, White Rose Centre, obviously, and I'm going to get the Eureva 200 service to uh, near Brunkley Academy. The, well, the, what was the Angel, the Toby Carvery. So we'll get the bus to there, then we'll continue walking to uh, towards Batley along this path that I'd like to have uh, had a walk on. All this time, and also living quite close to it as well, back in the 80s, 70s and early 80s, uh, I never knew it existed. So, so we're going to walk up the White Rose now, and then we'll uh, get the 200 bus to um, the Toby Carvery. Okay, let's do it. I don't know what's been going on here, but someone's uh, just bulldozed a load of blackberries. There's loads of blackberries here, and there will be for a month or so. I've already got one lot, which I've turned into jam. Just look at this lot here. Just look at these. Look, look at these. Look how big they are. Mmm. Oh my word. Mmm. Mm. I'm not sure I should be filming these. I'll have every man and his dog and child picking blackberries here and taking them. I won't get any much. Mmm. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. There's also quite a lot here as well. And if you're on this side, not many of them are ripe on here. But anyway, just walk along the same path as we've done a time or two before. As if we're going to work. There's a lot of this uh, purple flowerage uh, along here, especially on the upper section, which is some of them's taller than me. About two and a half, three metres tall, some of them. There's even a little arrow there, you can see where the path supposedly goes. So for the first bit, it's gonna be train from path if we uh, if we do see anything. There's a hull to Manchester Piccadilly one due out shortly. That's seven minutes past from town, so it's a couple of days after that, and it should be, should be heading up here. Right, this is a divide point from what I call the upper section, up that way, and the lower section down there. Now this just up uh, on the left here is where the White Rose station's gonna go, allegedly. So if I just walk up here to the other side, you'll see where we have gone in the past. I don't, this will have to come out, obviously. Felt like taking a hacksaw to that one day. Oh, that sounds like the... Yes, that's the whole topic of this service. So hopefully, uh, when we get a new station here, we might get two or even more, maybe three or even four trains an hour. Who knows? This side down here may become a more definite path and not just over to Tesco up there straight ahead it might and I think all this line of trees will come out and this little underpass tunnel walkway whatever you want to call it will be the convenient interchange between the two platforms at this end of the station south end or west end so let's go back now to the other side Turn right. And look, you can just, you can barely see the path now, it's so overgrown here. It definitely needs to be cut down. They cut it down uh, early this year, about February, was it? Something like that, January, February, I think it was. And uh, they cut it all back and there were quite a few trees here. I'll compare it with the video from 2019, July, July that year, July last year. I can compare it with that because this is like the open section now. We can see the trains on the up 
on the right here. It really is significantly overgrown, is this 100 yard section or so here. Not just uh, these, I think they're called policemen's helmets or something. And uh, there's also nettles and bracken and thistles. Bit easier now. A few blackberries here as well, but they're not as good as the one down at the other end of the path. What you can get up here quite a lot of is cherries. And as far as I'm aware, all cherries can be eaten. Some taste better than others, but uh, you can see on here now, there's a lot of cherry stones. Oh, yeah, you can see the cherry stones, all the cherry stones that are, when they fall off the tree, the flesh of it rots and the stones left. So I don't think we've got many left now. They're not cherries. This is a cherry tree. And there's uh, just a few shriveled stalks left. I got one decent lot of cherries. Made one, one batch of jam with it. Anyway, let's keep going now to the bus station, which is down this way. So I'm gonna go left, less usually now. More frequently go right and then left up there. And go this way. Right, I've just come into an office uh, near the White Rose office park. And it's all about the White Rose station. And you can see where it's plans. I mean, they've got the double arrows the wrong way around there. Actually, it's like, a, like the old ceiling ferries used to, to do. Cottingley, of course, is there, which we'll be using later. We have used it countless times. And uh, you can see that uh, it's going to be quite a quite a hit. I think is that now there's a steel gate somewhere, wherever it is now. There's, there's a big steel gate which is going to make it rather difficult. They'll have to make sure it's either open at all times or taken off. So this is a say. This is the new White Rose Station. Now, if they're just going to call it White Rose, literally like that. How are we going to know anyone outside of the Yorkshire area where it is? It should be called White Rose Brackets Leeds, if anything. So, yeah, just pause it all if you want to have a read of it. And whatever. If Cottingley does stay and they don't close it, probably think they'll probably do the same with Cottingley as what they've done with Sankey uh, following the opening of Warrington West. Anyway, I just thought I'd uh, run that by you. Well, there's a little, as I said, it's just a little office popping to see future plans for the park and the new White Rose Rail Station. So, uh, yeah, oh, there's a little yeah. down there. Yeah. Right, walking back up to the bus station now. The office park is on the right, just through the trees there. Because these two paths run parallel for sort of 50, 60 yards. So I thought. Oh, he's a train the distance down. The Wakefield line's only a matter of yards over behind us. Huddersfield line's in front. There's no plans for a station on the Wakefield line. Because you could call one White Rose East and one White Rose West, couldn't you? If they did that. Right, obviously you can nip through there to the office park. But we'll go this way to the bus station. I want the 200 now. Is it one of them? That's Leeds. Oh, it's there coming in. 200. It doesn't leave till 29. Right, we're on the 200 now, and we're just leaving the White Rose. So, heading for Morley and then Bristol, and we'll get off by the Toby Carberry. Far off getting off now. Rugby Academy is just here on the left. We'll go another couple of stops and then we'll get off. Didn't want to waste too much time filming the whole journey, but uh, anyway, not far. And there's the 200 heading on to Clackheaton. 
So I'll start View Ranger for this. Right, we're going to cross the M62 just here now. This is the main A643, is this? It's the same road that uh, we crossed just before, which is we set off at Bockchow Hill, Helen Road. It's the same road. <coughs> so this is looking east towards Pontefract Castleford and Hull and whatever. That's looking west towards Halifax and Manchester, Liverpool. Could have come uh, one, if not two more bus stops actually down here, but I thought I'd get off there and start it. From a more recognisable point. You can just see the path there, the dirt road it is. That's what we're heading for. Okay, let's continue. <coughs> it's just, uh, just past this house, there's a left turn. Could have got off at this bus stop just here, but anyway, we'll uh, <coughs> we'll, we'll, we'll we got off further back, as you know. So this way now up here it says their footpath. Obviously, it's pointing the wrong way. It's really round here. So yeah, all this time, all these years, I've lived around this area, and I've never ever thought to walk along this path. Amazing, isn't it? Because there's a farm down here, that's why it's actually more of a dirt track rather than just a footpath. Because you can obviously get a road vehicle along here, like a car or a tractor or whatever. Right, you can see Howden Clough Road there, A643. And where that gate is just across there, you can actually get, take a cut off if you go in left. The M62 is behind those trees in a cutting. And Scotchman Lane, you just see the house in the distance over there. That is Scotchman Lane, which is where we're ultimately heading for. So, also, we'll pass the what I call old, old house where I lived from being born in 1971 to the summer of 1984. So, it should be a fairly easy path, this what we're walking on now. Straight over. The Scotchman Lane. Looking back again, uh, you can still just see, you see the industrial estate and the uh, showcase, West Yorkshire Retail Park in the distance there. And there's the M62 behind the trees, and you just see it there. Oh, it's dinner. And we're continuing this direction, <coughs> which is roughly southwest, southeastish. So southeasterly down here heading for Skullcroft Farm and then we'll go past that on the Scotchman Lane. I think I'll actually go to Lady Anne Crossing while we're, while we're on with this video and include the other bit that I missed off last time. I, said I made a video and deleted it by accident. So I'll, I'll redo that at the end. I did this in this direction because it's a bit more downhill than uphill. You can see St Thomas's Church spire over there. Do you know if I ever get a drone again, I think we're going to bring it somewhere like this and do a bit further. Could be great. Not had a right lot of success with drones so far. <coughs> the first one, that big one, was useless, and the little tiny one that I got for about 50, 60 quid, that was like, well, it's ridiculous. Come see what you were filming.
So we're not very far off Skullcroft Farm now, just down here where these trees are, I don't think. I was thinking, what's that place there with all the brightly coloured parasols? That'll be the Needless Inn, I would think. Which we might, I think we'll come out just by that. We'll check it. Right, this is going to be Skullcroft Farm now. And the path just appears to go straight to the middle, straight across there. I would think. Yeah. I think we'll do too much filming in case someone took offence. Dog has already done that. Right, so it's down here now. And eventually it'll come to Scotchman Lane. This is the steeper, steeper part of the path now. Shut up, dog. This does look good here. Someone's been attacking this with something quite significant. Oh, there's blackberries here. Look at those blackberries. Look at that. Mmm. I'm going to take some blackberries. Mmm. It's a pity I ain't got some. I put some blackberries in. Could have them for tea. Right, just looking back where we've come from, up there, and down this way now, we're coming out into a more open section, which is here, through the stile, or gap in the fence, and I assume that one, straight over there, it's from Nags here. Only three. That's two. Hello, horsey. Oh, yeah, just two. So through here, before the horse comes and bites us, and uh, we'll walk down this. I think there's a path over there, but we'll walk this way easier. Now, if I wasn't going to see Mother, I must admit, I would probably be tempted to have food here at the Needless Inn. But, uh, <coughs> I think the Needless actually is something to do with fishing, isn't it? And it's a little lake just there. Which I seem to remember as a child, it flooding and flooding a path lower down that runs parallel at this point. Uh, seems to be all right now. Anyway, straight up here to Scotchman Lane, and we'll walk down there past the old house, or old old house, shall I say. So left goes up the hill towards Marley, and this way we head to Batley. And you just see the railway over there. So we can smell food cooking here. And it looks like it's it's open, fully open as well now. After you know what. This is a slightly more direct path now from the A643 through the woods halfway up, which is further beyond. Uh, I may do this one at some point in the future, but we'll see. Hi. Right, I was going to walk past the old house that we used to live in years ago, but uh, I've already done that in what actually I did from Marley to Batley when I did that video. So what we'll do, we'll walk along Howley Mill Lane just here now, and uh, we'll head under the railway because you can't go over it. The old house, as I say, is just up there, and uh, we'll walk down this way now under the railway. This is where those we got talking to those two guys. 
bit further on here. So go under the railway, then up to Lady Anne Crossing, and then we'll head to Mums. Right, and this is a Scarborough Liverpool locomotive formation. It is. That was lucky, wasn't it? I think there's another service in the opposite direction very shortly as well. That actually was a railway years ago and it went across a little like level crossing and where the woods were up that way it was actually a pit, a uh, west end pit from what I've picked up and uh, there was a branch line, a short branch of about perhaps half a mile off the main line here but uh, discontinued many many years ago but you see the cars are up there, there was a level crossing up there, just a foot crossing but that's all been taken out now and the path doesn't exist but to say it's uh, actually quite surprised it hadn't, wasn't taken away earlier I think it was 2009 or 10 when they removed it so it's at least 10 years ago now but you've got the bridge down here we can quite easily walk under so it's actually surprising it didn't, it didn't get taken out earlier So obviously this is much wider than it needs to be for just two lines. It's half and half, isn't it, this ridge? That, this half of this wall is in Leeds, in, Kirk, in the Leeds area, and that wall over there is in the Kirk Leeds area, because the stream is the boundary. You can't really, that's just... I don't want to hang my camera over there on my phone right in case I drop it. It would be rather stupid to do that. So, we'll continue down here and then uh, head up to Lady Anne Crossing. Right, we came from that way uh, when we did the Morley Batley walk and we walked down there. I know, until I like, down that way. Okay, we'll just come the opposite way. We're going to walk down this way now and it'll take us to the crossing. used to play pool sticks here years ago as kids. Just drop something in there and see if it came out of the side. There's more of these policemen's helmet type flower plants here. They just grow wild. Now there's a path down there unofficially. But uh, anyway, we'll continue up here. This is what I didn't share last time because I deleted it by accident. So up to the crossing and then we'll cross over. Right, that's the way we go back down to Batley, which we'll do later to the station. Here's is the crossing. Should get straight to, straight through here because there's nothing anywhere near. So just pull the gates and it alerts him. Okay, looking to Batley and Lewisfield and looking to Leeds. Okay, and this, as you can see, is where the Great Northern used to go over the top on a flyover. I'll just move further up here, get a bit better view. So yeah, that was taken out in 1964. Uh, not sure when the bridge was removed, but the line closed sort of mid-60s. 
Imagine how busy it would be now if it still existed. Right, just continue now to see my edge at P and then we'll continue a bit later. Okay, so see you a bit later. Evening, welcome back. After a four hour break to see mother, we're back heading towards the station, Batley in this case. Right, now I'm on Sutil Lane Bridge. If I switch the camera, oh, it will towards see. Batley down the hill. And this is where, uh, rumour has it, that they're gonna be putting a third track in at some point to provide an overtaking facility nearer to Leeds than what Murfield is. You could easily do that where the old Great Northern was here. And whatever, this is the existing line looking to Leeds and this wall here originally held there was like a signal box over the top of the Great Northern many moons ago okay. so we're heading down this way now and there you are you can see the station just down there so let's get to it so this was a short video well about half hour or so just to put an alternative into the Morley Batley walk that we did a uh, while ago, a month or two back now, I think. So, let's get the next train in a few minutes and get back home. It's currently on time, there's no express to go around it at Dewsbury, so it should have just left. In fact, it has just left, it's coming. Perfect timing. It's due off here in just under a minute. I don't think I'd have timed this much better if I'd tried actually. So here we are. Just a single 185 now. Let's stop the doubling up. 185, 146. Heading for Leeds. Get back, let's get on and get back home. We're just leaving Batley. We're on the wrong side, really, aren't we? It's a bit slow, is this? Come on, whack it open. This is the bridge we just went on just a few moments ago. And if we look at this side, this is where we could have a, a third track up direction very easily might just need to nibble away some of the original embankment of the Great Northern line that was but uh, you could quite easily put a third track in there for about half a mile create a nice uh, slow line this overtaking line the next stop will be more. so we just walked along the other side from the level crossing see here now where the Great Northern went over the top. Um, so this is a bit I really like here now from the crossing up to the tunnel because it's the first bit of railway I grew up with. It is. See if that footbridge ever gets modified. Howley Crossing used to be there where the wall is, but the path's just totally gone now. So straight into Molly Tunnel now. Right, anyway, this is the end of this short video now, so um, see you in the next one. Bye for now.